one, no one in my position would have given me this fight. Hardest opponent mm -hmm. for many reasons. Bragging rights in beating one, beat one take. How is that bragging rights in beating one take? This is his lottery ticket, mm. and I'd given him that. This is definitely the most intense gun he's corner we've had so far. What's good people, what's happening? Right now, it's not the red corner, it's not the blue corner, it's the gully corner, presented by myself, D Gully. DFC 2 Valhalla is going to be a war. And we're joined today by one of the combatants in the main event. Some may even say this card has been built around him. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined by the one and only SK. How you doing, my bro? Good, thank you. Great. Good, thank you for coming, bro. Welcome to the Gully Corner. Mm -hmm. All right, listen. First thing I want to know, SK, is you were in the house for DFC 1. Mm -hmm. What were your opinions of that card? First. It's a phenomenal card, you know. It's the first ever Don's um, boxing card. Sure. And to see all the boys, obviously, from the t Ray gym, and obviously the other fighters can compete. It was really, 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 it was a, something different for me because that's all I've ever wanted for the boxing community when I came into this game. I wanted to see that, see genuine fighters. I want to fight mm. fight every week and to see boys get a platform that they deserve mm. to fight on a card like the Duns is mm. nothing short of amazing. How did it feel to not be on the card though yourself that night? Um, a tough one to take, a bit of pill to swallow. Mm. Cause I just come from the back of winning um, the quest belt mm. in September mm. and where I, where I went into that fight with really an injury mm. and it just worsened in the fight so mm. obviously tell them by the doctors I wasn't, I wasn't able to do anything for two three months sure. so um, leave, missing out on a car like that for me it's horrible especially, and then especially seeing the talent that I was on the show yep. it's something that I definitely would have thrived on mm -hmm. I respect that man well so obviously obviously DFC 2 see that's a whole different situation you're very much involved in this one. Um, obviously, those of us who were at the FC one, we saw that one take took a fight, very short notice, came away with a draw, which was fair. Um, and then he had some things to say. Obviously, he called you out. Um, obviously, those of us who were in attendance, you know, we could see that you know it was really hot. The energy was was really fierce. You know, um, I think it translates through the footage as well on the YouTube. Um, what were your thoughts in that moment, bro? Well, to call me out after a draw, quite outlandish when you think about it. But mm. one thing I respect is a fighting man. And you call me out in my backyard, I'm going to show up. Mm -hmm. I'm a fighter first. Forget about YouTube, forget about football, forget about everything. I'm a mm -hmm. fighter first. Mm -hmm. So he wanted, he got, wanted to fight, he got to fight. Yeah. So my question is, are you familiar with him as a fighter? No, not at all, no, not at all. The, 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 um, that night was the very first night that I seen him, I seen him perform. And then um, he's calling me after a draw. So, mm. um, in my opinion, he, he's to, show up off, to show up on 48 hours notice mm. in itself is, is um, commendable. Mm. And it makes me just hungry for this fight because this is my hometown. Mm. I've, I've had to travel mm -hmm. all over the place for a whole year mm -hmm. and fight people in their backyard. Mm -hmm. I've had to compete against fighters that have had more experience than me. Because mm -hmm. let's have it out right, I've not fought anyone that has that I have any more experience than have. So not one fight I've fought against has had more, I've had more experience than them. They've always had more experience than me, and the odds have always been against me. And I've always come out with a victory. So you say you've been an underdog so far? In my head, we're never underdogs. In, 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 in the gym, mm. we're gonna win always. Mm. You, you don't sign. A, I never sign a fight to be an underdog. Right. But I'm, I'm, just, I'm just going off what. The casuals and everyone would say, mm -hmm. yeah, I've been boxing for what, a year, a year and a bit. Mm -hmm. And I'm in there with fighters that have been boxing their whole life. Well, it looks like it's going very well so far, bro. The, the record says it for itself. Mm -hmm. Five fights, five wins. Mm -hmm. In fact, mm -hmm. so my question I want to know regarding this one take, um, obviously you were not in the crowd at the time mm -hmm. when he had his fight at the last card. Obviously you were backstage. Does that mean that you didn't actually see the fight itself? No, I was there in the fight. I was in the corner watching the fight. Oh, you were? You were able to take it in? It's what, it's what, it's what I do. I'm, I'm a fighter. I watch all the fights. Yeah. All the fight, I, I analyze fights. I, I analyze people's strengths, people's weaknesses. Mm -hmm. I'm not just sitting there cheering and to mm -hmm. set that. I, I watched that fight in detail. Mm -hmm. And I watched it again and again and again and again. Mm -hmm. Remember, call me out. I'm, I'm locked into this fight. Mm -hmm. This is the only fight I've cared about. Mm -hmm. You can ask Flips. I'll say one. Mm -hmm. You call me out. I want to fight. Mm. So he said, yeah, fight us, cool. Then the, 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 the promotion said that I'll be fighting at middleweight. 
mm. if you can't make middleweight. No worries, I'll go up and wait and fight you your weight. That's the kind of fighter man I am. Mm. I don't make no excuses. I will be there on weight, no excuses, always showing up. Mm. That's the kind of the fighter man I am. I've had to earn everything I've got, mm. I've earned. No one's given me nothing mm -hmm. from day one. Mm -hmm. I've had to fight for everything I've got. Mm -hmm. So one take, you've been given the opportunity of a lifetime. Mm. The opportunity of a lifetime, mm. even on the back of a draw. Mm. No, one, no one in my position would have given me this fight. No one, no one. Do you know what they would have done? No, no, bad, bad, bad. no. I'm a fighting man. Mm. He wants to fight me, I'm there. And that's what everyone will know me. When it's all said and done, mm. I showed up. And I always show up. Mm -hmm. You know, um, from the five fights that you've had so far, I know you've said that the opponents may have been more experienced mm. or had a longer tenure so far than you in boxing. Mm. From what you saw from one takes fight at the FC one, um, where do you feel this is going to stand in terms of the most difficult fight that you've had so far? Do you think this has the potential to be the biggest challenge? Potential, but I don't think it is. But potential, mm. because you can't, I can't take anything on 48 hours notice. Mm. God knows how many weeks I had to train. He had the full camp for this one. Sure. So he's, he's re he, I know he'll be ready. Mm. Like I've been ready. I've been locked in in camp training hard. That was my um, next question. So my, the fighters I fought against, especially I'll say Harvey, mm. hardest opponent mm -hmm. for many reasons. He can box, he can move, mm -hmm. he can um, keep box you at range, mm -hmm. box you up close, um, slip and slide. Many things in that fight, I learned that from that fight. And I studied it for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. That's what I do. I'm obsessed with this game. This is all I do. It's all I think about is boxing. I don't do nothing else. I know, I know nothing else. Mm -hmm. I know nothing else. I do nothing else. Mm -hmm. All I do is box, box and fight. My, where I'm going in this boxing game mm -hmm. is to the top. It's, I'm going to the top. Mm -hmm. And this game needs fighters like me. Mm -hmm. Fighters that will fight anyone on, on any notice. What am I gaining from this fight? That's a fair question. What am I gaining from this fight? Me being one thing, what am I gaining? Mm -hmm. I'm gaining honor for myself. This fight is for me, for no one else. Mm -hmm. This fight is simply for me, mm -hmm. no one else. Would you say that for your opponent, it could be a matter of bragging rights being on the line? Bragging rights and beating one, and beating one take. How is that bragging rights and beating one take? Would you say that there are bragging rights for him if... So like, 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 I said, like I said from day one, mm. this is his lottery ticket. Mm. And I've given him that. Mm. No one else has. I've given him that. Because I'm a fighting man. Mm -hmm. I have given that. So this fight means everything to me. Mm -hmm. This fight, every fight I fight means absolutely everything to me. Mm -hmm. So I train for this fight like I'm training for a title. Mm -hmm. I'm not underestimating him in any way. Mm. I don't care about that fight he had for what, October 22nd? I remember, October 22nd. Mm -hmm. I don't care about that fight he had. Mm. Because that's not the one take that'll, that'll be here for this fight. He'll be the very best one take you'll see. And you'll see the very best SK you'll see. And that's what I'm preparing for. I'm preparing for a four round war with one take. I know he's coming and he, he should know I'm coming. So March 4th, your, the fans are, the fans should be really looking forward to this fight because you have two fighters that will leave it all in the ring and will want to win and nothing else. Mm. So tune in because this will be a masterclass. Mm -hmm. Are we dropping him? Are we winning on points? How do we see? Five fights I've had, mm -hmm. five people have failed. He'll be number six. That's fair, that's fair. This is definitely the most intense gun this corner we've had so far. Um, I, I've, been, I've been in camp this whole time. Mm -hmm. It's all I know. I'm, I'm, not, I'm done with talking. I, I'm, I'm, time to fight. I'm ready to fight. Mm -hmm. If you told me to fight tomorrow, I'll fight tomorrow. If you told me to fight now, I'll fight now. I'm done. That, that's where I'm at now. I'm a fighting man. Mm. Fuck YouTube, fuck it. I don't want clout, I don't want none of that. Mm. I want to be the best fight in the world. I want to be known. Mm. It's all said and done mm. that I can fight and I'm the best fight in the world. That's where I'm going towards. I study this game, I analyze this game, it's all I care about. Mm -hmm. This is what people don't understand. When, when, they, when, they, when they sign to fight me, when they talk of me, they talk to me like I'm a YouTuber, they talk to me like I'm a guy, I'm a gimmick. Well, I think there are always going to be critics, there's always going to be detractors. Um, and people, in some cases, may lean on the fact that as a public figure, for some people, you came to prominence more through the football endeavours. Fuck that. No. Fuck that. I've earned, I've, everything I've had, I've earned. Mm. Everything, everything we have at the Dons we've earned. Mm -hmm. No one's given us nothing. And that's the problem. That's what people can't stand. Mm. Is that no one's given us any, anything. And we've earned them. We've had to graft, mm. fight, bleed, sweat for it. Everything. Mm -hmm.
Everyone knows me. Everyone knows what I'm about. Mm. Come in the gym. I live in the gym. I live in the gym. I don't, you don't do nothing else. Mm. I'm not doing this for clout. I'm not doing this for followers. Mm. I'm doing this for honor. I'm doing this for the bragging rights. Mm -hmm. I'm doing this for my, my club, my family. I'm doing this for everything. I'm fighting to march for I'm fighting for everything. You know, SK, I've known you for a while. And I have to be honest, I don't think I've ever seen you like this. Mm. I don't think I've ever, ever felt this energy from you. It's serious. Boxing is serious. So. Boxing is very, very serious. So. And we're in a game where many fighters aren't serious. Mm -hmm. And everyone will get exposed. Mm -hmm. Everyone will get exposed. And mm. I've lived this the life of boxing. Mm. <laughs> I've lived the life of boxing. And, and this is good. You see some of the footage behind the scenes. That's mm -hmm. just half of the footage you see, man. Mm -hmm. I ain't, got to say, I ain't got to say, my, my, my resume says it for, for itself. Mm -hmm. So I'm taking one take very, very seriously. Because mm -hmm. he's, he's, he's a very, very serious opponent that wants to take everything I have. Mm -hmm. I'm not letting that happen. No way. Who would you say goes into this fight with more pressure, bro? You can look at it two ways. Mm -hmm. This is my very first fight in my hometown. Mm -hmm. And I, and <laughs> I can't wait. Mm. And I've had pressure since day one mm. through the box journey. Mm. Everyone wants to see me get knocked out. Everyone wants. Mm. And I've had that pressure. Mm. But then one thing's got a big pressure here because he's called me out. I'm about to say. So he's, I'm about to say. He's called me out. So mm. he's got to really show the people and he's got to show me on March 4th mm. why he's called me out. Mm. So you know when. SK, you know, there's been some fights in like British and world history where. The animosity has been so rife that it's like you almost can't imagine either side losing. Almost like I think about Eubank versus Ben. More recently, I think about even with Wilder and um, Fury. Like the animosity was so at a boiling point, and it was almost like you almost feel like neither person can possibly lose. My question is, you know, I hate to ask so soon, but even from the position of potentially the victor, like, is a rematch, is that potentially? To the pleasure for anything. Yeah. In, in, in boxing, in, yeah. you know, I, I never shy away with shut down anything down or shy away from anything, but March 4th, the fans are in for a real treat. Because again, like I said, you've got two fighters that want to leave it all in the line. Yeah. And one, I've, got, I've got to give everything. Yeah. And that's what we're here for. So you, you, everyone tune in because you got two fighters, like I said, mm. me and me and one take mm. that really want to win this fight. Mm. So like again, you know, tune in. You know, at some point, SK, right? I'm gonna have one take in the gully corner, right? Mm. At some point. Mm. Do you have any words for him, live and direct? See you March fourth. Listen, this is a man of very few words. But he's heavy on the action. Yeah. DFC 2. It's going to be a war. If you thought DFC 1 was a war. You ain't got any idea. Listen. SK. Thank you for sitting down. I wish you the best of luck in DFC 2. God bless. You too. Thank you.